if we return to the idea of the bug crawling around the circle and the graph tracing out as the bug crawls around, let's, instead of measuring this axis in angular units theta, measure it in time units t. And let's say that it takes 12 seconds for one bug to crawl all the way around the circle. Then the graph of y versus t is going to look like this. Okay? And it's going to come out at 12 seconds here. Now, what's happened? The bug traveled the circle in 12 seconds. How is theta, the angle on the circle, going to be related to the clock time t. Well, theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, while t goes from 0 to 12 seconds. If we multiply t by 2 pi over 12, then when t equals 12 seconds, theta is going to be 2 pi, isn't it? And when theta is 0, of course, uh, or when t is 0, I'm sorry, theta is also going to be 0 as a result. So that this function here, theta equals 2 pi over 12, has the property that it will take the angle theta from 0 to 2 pi while the clock time t goes from 0 to 12. Of course, this can be reduced down to pi over 6 t so that we see that this red graph is the graph of y equals sine theta where theta is pi over 6 t. Okay. Now, if the bug travels one time around the circle, corresponding to this uh, type of graph for the sine function, and if he travels this far in 4 seconds rather than 12, then he's going to go through 1, 2, 3 complete cycles in this 12 seconds. In that case, instead of saying theta is 2 pi over 12 t, we'd have to say theta is 2 pi over 4 t, so that as t goes from 0 to, instead of 12, 4, theta would go from 0 to 2 pi. So that the equation for that function is y equals sine theta equals a sine of, well, it's going to be 2 pi over 4, which reduces to pi over 2 times t. Looking at things in a little different way, let's say that we wanted to Think about the graph of y equals a sine of 7t. Well, in that case, remember that what we did over here was we put 2 pi divided by the period, the 12 second period, around the circle. Okay? And that's a number that goes in front of t. Uh, this number is a number that goes in front of t. Over here, if we have 7 in front of t, that must be 2 pi over the period times t. So that 7 must be 2 pi over the period, and the period must therefore be 2 pi over 7. Now this takes a little bit of thought and a little bit of getting used to, but it's well worth it to understand how this period relates to the number here.